All right, guys. Well, welcome back to City Field. First game of a uh, doubleheader here. This is on a Saturday, uh, June second, uh, I believe, uh, nineteen sixty-two. Yep, June second. Game one of a doubleheader, and uh, we are uh, hosting the Giants again. It's uh, going to be Bruce Berenny on the mound here against uh, Bob Odell. Odell's certainly the better pitcher. Berenny's one and two with a six point one seven ERA, and uh, with his doubleheader here in the Mets, having played a lot of games in a row, we got to rest a couple of guys. So Carter's going to be out of this one. And is going to be uh, Santana will also be on the bench as he's been so cold. And uh, here's the first pitch to Alou, and that's a ball inside, 1 0. Next pitch by Bruce, and that is uh, a curveball that's uh, lined over to uh, left field. Moogie Wilson tried to dive for that one and ended up dropping in front of him, so uh, he trapped it. And that's a base hit right off the bat for Alou. This is the hard part about uh, playing with the uh, 62 Mets schedule. It's especially hard because we're using the um, actual as-played schedule, not the as-schedule schedule. Mistake on my part. Um, the hard part about this are all the double headers you got to play. There's a foul away by uh, Jim Davenport, 0-1. It's uh, going to be really, really hard in this team. 0-2 is this foul away again. We've played fewer games than any other team in the National League. It's a line drive over to right field that lines in front of Strawberry, and his throw to third base is not in time. The Giants immediately with runners on at uh, first and third, and uh, nobody out. we will play for double play depth against Willie Mays, and I uh, hope he doesn't hit one too far away. There's a ball low to him, 1-0. That's another one in the dirt, 2-0. And, oh. and there's a strike to Mays, 2-1. Two and one. All the way, 2-2. Two and, two. and that's hit deep to left center field. Uh, Dykstra's just going to watch that one go. That goes three, 430 feet away. Told you I was hoping he wouldn't hit it too far away, and he did. So 3 nothing uh, Giants right off the bat. This is going to be a problem because we have to have somebody um, who's able to pitch the uh, second game. This is the second doubleheader this week that the Mets have had. We had a doubleheader against the Dodgers as well just a couple days ago with uh, no rest time, and that's exactly what I was talking about. Here comes uh, Willie McCovey. So uh, Bruce Berenny uh, throws the ball away uh, to uh, McCovey, 1-0. There's a strike, 1-1. One one. Three runs after three batters. Swing and a miss, 1-2. And, and Mays hit that one a long way away. There's a ball away, 2-2. Two two. The big story here is about the uh, big war leaders, which are uh, Dykstra and Mays. McCovey pops this one up in the infield. It will be uh, Tuffle, the second base, from making the catch. One away. Here's Orlando Cepeda. Dykstra actually a little bit quiet over the last couple of games. Mays was quiet too until he hit that one. There's a ball and another ball to Cepeda, 2-0. And, oh. and that's inside ball three, 3-0 three -oh pitch. There's a strike, 3-1. and one. And there's ball four inside. Now the last one didn't miss by, miss by that much, and now there's a runner on at first base. We'll uh, play a double play depth again. Here's uh, Tom Holler. There's a strike, good slider, 0-1. Oh Ground ball foul, left side, 0-2. And, and that's high, 1-2 and two now on Tom. Just fouled away. 1-2 and two remains. Hit over to center field. I think actually it's going to be uh, uh, Mitchell, the uh, shortstop, bringing over to grab that one for the second out. Two away, and here's Jose Pagan. There's a curve low and outside, 1-0 and oh to Pagan. Swing and a miss, and it's 1-1. One one. That's a strike a little bit high, 1-2. Just outside, two and two. Berenny's trying to uh, groove him in there. There's a swing and a miss. He gets Pagan to chase one, and uh, down he goes. We go to the bottom of the uh, th uh, first inning. Down three, nothing. And here comes Lenny Dykstra. So Dykstra hitting 354, 28 stolen bases, four home runs. Here to uh, face Odell. Odell, I'm sorry, and that's fouled away. Billy Odell, I'm sorry, called him Bob. There's a uh, foul by Dykstra, and then a ball outside. One and one the count. There's a strike. It's one and two on Lenny. Foul to the right side. Remains one and two. Foul to the left. Now still one and two the count. Well, ground ball to first base. Filled in nicely by Cepeda, who flips over to Odell, covering at the bag. One away. Hookie Wilson now. There is a strike in the outside corner. Hitting 310 is Wilson. Remember, he missed a couple of weeks with that injury to the eyes. One and one the count. It's hit over left field. That's going to be in there for a base hit. So line drive base hit there for Wilson. Stops the first base, and uh, that'll bring up Keith Hernandez. Throw to first. Wilson not going anywhere. And there goes Mookie. If this throw beats him, it's a good throw by Haller, and he's uh, knocked out another one. Two away, and here's Hernandez. 
Wilson, though, still with those 10 stolen bases, so he can steal them. There's a ball low to Keith, 2-0. Oh, that's a strike, very low strike. 2-1 the count. Foul the way, it's 2-2. Two and two. That's hit on the line, straight to first base. Cepeda grabs that one for the out. We'll go now to the top of the second inning, uh, and it's uh, still uh, a 3-0 uh, lead for the Giants. Up is uh, Chuck Hiller. Hiller hitting 318. It's a ground ball over to uh, second. Tuffle throws to first, and there's one away. Here's Billy O'Dell. Pitcher up there takes the ball inside, 1-0. and Swing and a miss on that one, 1-1. One one. There's a uh, fastball outside, 2-1 and one the count. Swing and a miss, and now it's 2-2. Two and two. And that's low. Full count now on Odell. And he misses that inside. So Odell gets the walk. And you know it's never a good sign when you're watch walking the pitcher. There's Felipe Alou. There's a ball low. We seem to specialize in walking the pitcher. Foul the way. One and one now the count. And it's popped up. Going to be Wilson running after that one. He's just going to get some exercise. One and two. Head over to center. Dykstra's got that one for the out. Waving off a strawberry. Good catch by Lenny. Two away, and here's Jim Davenport. The ball low to Jim. That's fouled away. One and one the count. Inside, two and one. Round ball to third. Knight on to first. We go to the bottom of the first inning. Three nothing Giants. Here's a Daryl Strawberry. Takes a ball low and inside. And uh, we'll see if Daryl, uh, what Daryl can do here against Odell. Strawberry uh, has not been hitting well against the Giants, and he's got a 301 average this season. Swing and a miss. That looked really bad. One and one. Just fouled away. One and two the count. The ball inside. Two and two now to Daryl. That's low. Full count on Strawberry. Hit over to left field. That's going to be fouled. That's low. The strawberry able to get on base. That'll bring up Ray Knight. And that's a curve low tonight. 1 0 the count. And they got him uh, leaning for second. Strawberry nowhere to go. Part of the pickle. And he goes to second to throw not in time. So uh, Strawberry does end up uh, safe at second. That's his eighth uh, steal of the season. Boy, that's a rare one for you. you. Ever see those plays where they can't throw the guy out? So Knight now with the runner in scoring position, 1 0 count on him. And there's a strike slider high, one and one. There's a fastball at the letters, one and two. Blasted over to right, um, and uh, Alou uh, makes the catch. We're going to have Strawberry uh, hold a second. It wasn't hit very deep, so one away, and here comes Tim Tuffer. There's a strike, they call that one, outside corner. Tuffle then hits the next pitch over to second. Uh, Hiller uh, makes the play, throws to first for the out. Two away, here's Kevin Mitchell. The ball low to Mitchell. And a ball inside. Two and no the count. That's low for ball three. And that's low again. Ball four. So Odell uh, loses him. That's the 20th walk that Billy's given up against 75 strikeouts. A good strikeout pitcher. And here comes um, Ed Hearn, the catcher. And there's a ball away. One and no to Hearn. It's hit over in the air to right field. And uh, that's going to be an easy catch there for Felipe Alou. And so it goes. Uh, we're going to go now to the top of the uh, third inning. So the Mets had a chance to uh, score, but uh, couldn't do anything with Strawberry. Here comes Mays. He takes the ball inside, 1-0. and There's a strike, 1-1 one one the count. Swing and foul back by Willie, 1-2. and two. It's a little uh, breaking ball, and that's hit over to... Uh, Left field, Wilson uh, able to make a lunging play on that one and prevents it from hitting the ground, one away. Here comes Willie McCovey, who takes a uh, strike. You don't want to drop grandma's dishes, what they say. There's a ball low, one and one. And another ball low, two and one. That's ball three, slider miss low, three and one. Swing and a miss, it's a full count now. Fouled away. McCovey, full count. And that's way in the dirt. Three walks now given up by Bereni, and that'll bring up Orlando Cepeda. And I hate to say this, but these uh, Mets recently in games like this look more like the Mets of like 81 and 86. There's a 1-1 count now on Cepeda. 
There's a ball low. Two and one is the count. And that one gets away from Hearn. That will allow uh, McCovey to go to second. And uh, so Zepeda now with the runner in uh, scoring position. Foul the way. It'll be a full count now in Orlando. Ground ball to short. And uh, Kevin Mitchell didn't play that one well. Throws to first. And um, he throws wildly. Fernandez is able to knock it down. But the runner's safe. So Cepeda now at first base. And that will bring up Tom Holler. Now, this is where we have a problem. I'm not sure how long Bereni is going to last. And uh, we need somebody to pitch the uh, nightcap. One and one now the count on Holler. And he went around on that. It's one and two. Swing and a miss. Down he goes. Two away. Big strikeout for Bruce. There's Jose Pagan. And he fouls one away. 0 oh and 1. It's hit over to uh, center field. Dykstra coming in hard. Coming in hard. And he makes the catch. Good play by Lenny. And uh, we'll go now to the uh, bottom of the third inning. And uh, the uh, Mets are not that far behind. Um, it's uh, only a, a 3 to uh, nothing lead for the Giants. It was uh, going to be a lot worse, we thought at first. Here comes Bruce. We need him to pitch quite a few innings for us. There's a ball low and inside. And a ground ball over to second. This will be routine. Miller throws to first, one away. Here comes Dykstra. And it's a strike slider over the heart of the plate. And there's a curve high. Only one hit for the Mets so far. Blasted deep to center field over the head of Mays. Dykstra in there easily with the double. So it really has been the game of the uh, two men who are battling for war uh, supremacy in the National League. Here comes Wilson with Dykstra on his second. And Wilson blasts this one over to center, but Mays makes the catch this time. Throws over to third base, or runs over to third base, does Dykstra. Throw to third is not in time, and Dykstra is in there with two outs. And here comes Keith. Hernandez with a chance to drive another one in. Takes a slider high for a ball. He's driven in 39. Fouls one away. One and one the count. And that's fouled away again. It's one and two now on Keith. And that's high for ball two. Just checked his swing. Ground ball to second. Routine play for Hiller. Throws to first for the out. And that's all she wrote. So we go to the top of the fourth inning. The uh, Mets um, at least uh, challenged uh, in that uh, bottom of the third inning, which is more than we did before then. Here comes Hiller for the Giants. And there's a ball low from Bereni. Only three hits for the Giants, but uh, only two for the Mets. Three nothing to score, and that's what counts. Two and one now on Hiller. Ground ball to first, and uh, Hernandez feels that himself and goes to the bag, one away. Here's Billy O'Dell. Hits this over to center field, and that's going to fall in in front of Dykstra. Base hit for the pitcher, and uh, Bereni walked the pitcher the first time up and now gives up a base hit to him, and here comes Felipe Alou. That's where we've had the problems with the pitchers. There's a ground ball to second, and uh, Tuffle, no real play on that one, so Alou gets another infield hit, and that'll bring up Jim Davenport with uh, runners on at first and second. There's a ball low to Jim, 1-0. And there's a strike outside corner. It's 1-1. Inside for ball, 2-1. That's low, 3-1 the count. There's a called strike, so it'll be a full count now in Davenport. Blasted foul on the right field line. Count remains full. That's it over to right field, and that's going to be a base hit. Nobody close to it. It's uh, Dykstra, the center fielder, who picks it up. Another run's going to score here. No, they don't send uh, Odell. That's surprising. I thought for sure they would. And that'll bring up Willie Mays with the bases loaded. This is not what we wanted to see. 81 pitches already for Bereni. And um, I'm worried that things will not go very well for him in the near future. The foul ball by Mays, 0-1. Swing and a miss, 0-2. Oh, strike three. And there's strike three. Man, oh man, how can Mays take that one? Big strikeout for Bereni. Two away, and here comes Willie McCovey. Base is still loaded. McCovey hits a comebacker back to the pitcher. Bereni throws to first, and that does it. So the Mets uh, miraculously get out of that uh, that jam in the top of the fourth inning. We go to the bottom of the fourth, and it'll be Daryl Strawberry to lead this one off, hitting just a hair over 300. And he takes the ball low and away. Nine home runs is all. There's a strike, one and one. Mays is at 18. There's a strike again, one and two. Swing and a miss, and down he goes, and that's what Strawberry does better than anyone else. One away, here's Ray Knight. There's a the ball. No, that's a strike. They call that a strike. Oh, and one on Ray. Oh, fly ball over to center field. Maze is there easily. Two away. 
That'll bring up Tim Tuffle. Ball low to Tim, 1-0. Oh. Swing and a miss, it's 1-1. One one. Check swing, he held up, 2-1 the count. Low, 3-1, and, and Tuffle will be taking this. And that's low and away, so Tuffle walks again. Finds a way to go to first, and that'll bring up Kevin Mitchell. Mitchell had, uh, of course, the uh, game-winning RBI yesterday, and that was a big one. He takes the ball away, 1-0. Oh. There's another curve away, 2-0. Oh. Kevin grounds that one into the hole, right side for a base hit. So uh, Mitchell is uh, showing his ability to uh, hit, and uh, I'm not quite sure I understand exactly what happened here. I see it was asking me not if uh, Mitchell... It was asking me to send Tuffle to third. I sent him there, Lou through to third, and then uh, uh, Mitchell, for some reason, decided to go to second and was thrown out. He was a dead duck. Uh, so the uh, Alou hit the cutoff, man, apparently. A little bit confusing with the play-by-play -play here. I'm not exactly sure what really happened there. We go to the top of the fifth inning at any rate. Still 3 nothing Giants. If you've been watching these, you've seen there are a number of places where OTP can improve. Cepeda hits a fly ball to, Will, uh, to Mookie Wilson on left field for the first out. One away. Here's Tom Haller. That's one of them. I mean, there are some of these plays where it's really confusing. There's a ball inside to Haller, 1-0. and oh. And there's a strike, 1-1. One and one. I was asked if I wanted to send uh, Tuffle, I believe, and there's a curve for a strike, 1-2, and two, and I did. I didn't want uh, Mitchell to run to second. That's deep into the uh, gap in left center field. That's going to be a double. So Hiller with the big double off of uh, Bereni with one out here in the top of the fifth. That'll bring up uh, Jose Pagan. And there's a strike to Pagan, 0-1. Oh, We're having a hard time with these weak-hitting uh, players, I tell you. Bereni does a good job getting Willie Mays out, but uh, gives up a double to Hiller. There's a pop-up, and it's Mitchell on the infield grabbing that. Two away. Here's Chuck Hiller. And there's a ball inside to Hiller, 1-0. And a strike. It's one and one. Fastball is fouled away. One and two now the count. Fouled away again. Remains one and two. High. Two and two. That's hit over to center field. Dykstra can't get there in time. Is down for a base hit. Around comes uh, Holler to, Hiller to score. And I'm sorry, Holler to score. Hiller goes to second. It makes it a four to one, uh, four to nothing lead for the Giants, and that'll bring up Billy O'Dell. So Bereni falling apart as that's in the dirt, one and zero, oh. fouled away, one and one the count. Fouled away again is one and two. Just fouled away, remains one and two. Foul to the right side by O'Dell. Swing and a miss, and down he goes. So Bereni finally figures out a way to get the pitcher out. And uh, that brings us to the uh, bottom of the uh, fifth inning. Uh, four to nothing lead for the Giants. They're comfortably in control. Bring up Ed Hearn, who uh, hasn't been able to hit anything all season, and then a pinch hitter for Bereni. I think we've had enough of the Bruce Bereni show. Here's a strike to Hearn, 0-1. Oh and, and a ball high, 1-1. One one. Ground ball into the hole, but it's a good play by Davenport to first, one away. And Bereni will come out again as usual. It'll be Foster. Um, I don't want to look at Mookie Wilson, thank you. It'll be uh, George Foster here. Um, we've talked a lot about different systems and games to uh, make substitutions. OTP system is not particularly good, I'll tell you that. I'm not impressed. So here is Foster, and he takes a strike. Part of the problem is all the stats are so small you can't read them. There is a pitch low, 1-1. One one. OTP is one of those games that will throw stats at you without asking you which ones you want. There's a fly ball to the left, and McCovey's got that for the out, two away. One of the problems we have is that you can't change any of the stats on either side. Now, I know you can't do that with Diamond Line, but with more competitive games like Action PC Baseball, you can, right? You would think that would be a basic thing. There's a ball low now to Dykstra, 1-0. and And that's hit over to the left side. That'll be foul. 1-1 one one the count. Low, two and one now to Lenny. Fouled away, now it's two and two. Dykstra in a little bit of a slump. I think he's one for two today, and there's a ball inside. Full count. And that's inside for ball four, so Dykstra gets his uh, free pass to first, and that'll bring up Mookie Wilson. Ball high and away, one and oh on Mookie. Throw to first, nothing happening. Another throw to first. There he goes. That was inside, and Dykstra's got this one stolen easily, number 29 this season. There's ball two there to Wilson, and uh, so with runner on at second base and two outs, 
2-0 pitch, and there's a bat fastball high. It's a full count, or 3-0, I'm sorry, on Wilson. He'll take this. There's a strike, 3-1 now. Outside for ball four. Odell has issued five walks. Bottom of the fifth inning, he's thrown 75 pitches. You can see that uh, he's already getting into that uh, red zone there. And uh, we'll see what the Giants do for the second game of this doubleheader. Here's Keith, and this might be a chance. Swing and a miss by Hernandez. Where was that pitch, Keith? 0-1. Oh 0-2, and oh and another swing and a miss. Blasted over to left. That'll be foul. Hit over to right, and uh, that's going to be pretty easy. Felipe Alou has got that one for the out, and we'll go to the top of the sixth inning. So the Mets are going to go to the bullpen, top of the sixth inning, and uh, we'll see uh, what we're going to do. I mean, it's either Sisk or Neiman. This is my problem. I have a real hard time seeing, like, you know, the stats are important, but uh, there's no way for me to make them any bigger, and I really would like to, so I can see what I'm doing. We're going to put Randy Neiman in this ballgame and uh, see what he can do here against uh, San Francisco. He'll pitch against uh, Felipe Alou to, land, to uh, lead things off. It's a ground ball to first, and uh, Hernandez takes it to the bag himself, one away. Jim Davenport now, nobody on. Takes the ball low, 1-0. and oh. Eight hits for the Giants uh, to account for their four runs. The Mets have only three and no runs. One and one the count. Swing and a miss. It's one and two now on Jim. Strike three. And he went around that time, tried to check his swing and couldn't. Strike three. Two away, and here's Willie Mays. Mays had that big three-run homer. If it wasn't for that, this would be a different game. There's a ball inside of Willie, 1-0. There's a pop-up. And I don't know what happened with Keith Hernandez. He kind of uh, did a little stutter step and uh, ended up catching the ball in the end. Uh, but uh, that's a very, very odd uh, animation. I I've t said this before, and I'll say it again. I don't believe that OTP Developments has a relationship with EA Sports, other than I think that there was some sort of distribution uh, relationship. But a lot of these animations remind me of the uh, Madden football games in terms of like players teleporting and disappearing and those problems. OTP could use a completely new engine. There's a ball high to Strawberry, 1-0. and I'm thinking a lot about Football Manager. Football Manager 25 is supposed to have a new engine. Strawber hits this over to left field for a uh, base hit, and that'll bring up uh, who? Uh, Ray Knight. And uh, boy, I tell you, football manager could use a new match engine as well, but OTP really needs it. The ball inside tonight, 1 0. This has been around for a couple years now, and a lot of these problems were never solved. The ground ball over to short, and uh, Pagan throws to first base in time. Strawberry goes to second, one away, and here's Tim Tuffle. A lot of the problems that we are seeing here have been reported before to uh, OTP developments, and they claim that they fixed them, and they never have. Here's Tuffle, who takes the ball low. So uh, it may be for the next, uh, as there's another ball low, for the next OTP project, I just play in 2D mode instead. Um, there's a ball high, 3-0. and There's a strike down the middle, 3-1 and now. And that's low and inside, so Tuffle takes yet another walk, and Odell has walked six. And that's it for Odell. They're going to put in Bobby Bolin. So we're in the bottom of the sixth inning, 4 nothing Giants, but uh, the uh, Giants have gone to the bullpen. Only four hits given up there by Odell, but he was walking the yard, and here comes Kevin Mitchell. Takes the ball outside, 1-0. And, oh. and a strike is 1-1. That's blasted, not quite blasted, the left field hit over to McCovey. Looked like he got more of it than he really did. Two away, and here comes Ed Hearn, the catcher. And that's hit over to the right side. That'll be a foul ball, 0-1. Oh and that's a ball high, 1-1 one one on Hearn. Get fouled the other way, one and two. That's up the middle for a base hit. Big hit for Hearn. Around comes Strawberry to try to score. Here's Willie Mays' throw. It's uh, offline, and uh, it's a four to one ball game. So the Mets now starting to come back, and that brings up the pitcher Neiman, and we're going to take him out. It'll be Danny Heap here to bat. So Randy Neiman did a good job, and he comes out of this game. Here comes Heap, swing and a miss, way behind on that from Bullen. And pops this one up. This should do it. Nope, out of play. 0 oh and 2. The ball in the dirt. 1 and 2 the count. That's high. It's 2 and 2. That's not only in the dirt, that's a wild pitch. So both runners move up. And uh, there's a full count now in Danny Heap. See what they throw to him. Blasted to right. Has a chance. And it is gone. Danny Heap with the big three-run homer here in the bottom of the sixth inning. 
And that comes as a surprise to everybody. Heap the pinch hitter. It's a 4-4 tie now. And that'll bring up Lenny Dykstra. Brand new ball game. Here comes Dykstra. And he takes the ball inside, 1-0. Swing and a miss. It's 1-1. One one. That's outside. 2-1 now to uh, Lenny. Foul to the right side. It's 2-2. Two and two. Outside, full count now on Dykstra. And that's low for ball four. That'll bring up Mookie Wilson. So uh, the Giants having some pitching problems of their own. And uh, there's a pitch out. Nobody's going anywhere. 1-0 and the count on Wilson. There's a strike. It's 1-1. One and, one. and all they can think about is Dykstra. And that was a pitch in the dirt. Dykstra picked a, picked a good pitch to run on. And he's safe at second with the stolen base. 30th steal of the season. We're only on, uh, what is it, June 2nd. Here's Mookie Wilson still, 2-1 count. That's high, ball three. And that strike called, that's a high strike, full count. Little ground ball over to second base. Wilson running hard, but can't beat it out. But the Mets get four, and we go to the top of the seventh inning. And uh, the big question now is who's gonna come in to pitch? But the Mets get four runs um, in the uh, top of the, or bottom of the sixth inning. And um, I think it's going to be Doug Sisk who's going to come on here to pitch. And um, I worry that uh, this might not go as well as I was hoping. But uh, we'll see. The Sisk will come on. That was a big home run there by Danny Heap, who did an excellent job. And uh, so here comes Sisk to pitch from McCovey, and that's fouled away. It's 0-1. Swing and uh, foul ball, 0-2. Sisk coming into this. Only three innings pitched with an ERA of 18. Has blasted over to center field, but Dykstra's on his horse. He's going to get there in time, one away. This will help your ERA. Here comes Orlando Cepeda. Takes a strike, 0-1. And, and there's a ball low, 1-1 one one the count. Low and inside, it's 2-1 and one in Cepeda. Hit foul to the left side, 2-2. Two and two. That's hit over to left field, and uh, it's going to be easy for uh, Mookie, two away. Here's Tom Holler. There's a sinker low, 1-0. One and, one and oh. Ground ball to second. Uh, Tuffle throws to first, and uh, that does it. So uh, we go to the uh, bottom of the seventh inning, and uh, the Mets with a real chance here. Comes Keith Hernandez. Hernandez leads this off. No hits in this game. He takes the ball high. He's over 3 And that's outside, 2-0 and oh now. Bobby Bowen's still in there. There's a strike, two and one. Ground ball is short. Easy play for Pagan, one away. Here comes Daryl Strawberry. Takes the ball just inside, one and one. And uh, there's a strike, one and one. Fouled away by Daryl, now it's one and two. He's set up once again. It's hit over to right field and is gonna be easily playable for a Lou, two away. And here comes Ray Knight. Ray Knight 0 for 3. Takes the ball high. 1-0. And, and that's down and in. 2-0 and on Ray. High again. 3-0 the count. He'll take this one. And that's a strike. Right down the heart of the play. 3-1. And, and that is low. So uh, Knight is walked. And that will bring up Tim Tuffle. Tuffle's walked twice today. And he has a little uh, dribbler in front of the plate. And he's going to be safe at first. Uh, that was not easy for Haller. He barehanded that one through to first. Not quite in time. Tuffle gets down the line quickly. That brings up uh, Kevin Mitchell now. Mitchell with a chance to be a hero again. He's one for two today. He takes the ball outside. 1-0. Up the middle. Base hit. Around comes Knight. Not a particularly fast runner. Mazes throw though is late. And Knight has scored. And the Mets are up now 5-4. So Knight with the uh, scoring the run, big hit there for Kevin Mitchell, and that'll bring up Ed Hearn, the catcher. Mitchell now hitting 108, but he's two for three today. There's a strike to Hearn, and a ball low. Hearn is uh, one for three today, does have a hit. One and two now the count. Low again, two and two. And that's high, didn't look high to me, full count. The ground ball over to third, and the uh, throw by Davenport to first is in time. But the Mets get another one, and we go to the top of the eighth inning now. 
Um, and uh, it's uh, four to th five to four, sorry, lead for the uh, Mets. And uh, Maddie Alou comes up here for the Giants as a pinch hitter. Ground ball to short. The uh, Mitchell, the first, one away. Here comes Chuck Hiller. And there's the ball low and away, 1-0. Oh. Well, again, 2-0 oh the count. Foul the way is 2-1. and one. There's a ball inside, 3-1. and one. Let's hit over to right field. Strawberry running, 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 but can't get there. Full count. Hit to left. There goes Mookie, but he can't get there in time. That's foul again. Ground ball to, sec to uh, second, yep. Uh, Tuffle throws to first for the out, two away. And here comes Harvey Keene, another pinch hitter. And he takes the ball outside, 1-0. Oh. There's a sinker low, 2-0 oh the count. There's a sinker inside, 3-0. And, oh. and a strike finally by Sisk, 3-1. Ground ball to first. Hernandez uh, flips over to Sisk, covering at the bag for the out. And so we will go to the bottom of the eighth inning. It's a uh, very, very precarious lead for the Mets, 5-4. to four. And here comes Doug Sisk, and uh, there goes Doug Sisk. He's not going to hit for himself. It'll be Howard Johnson coming on here to hit for him. That leaves us with Backman Santana on the bench in case anything weird happens. Uh, there's a strike built high, 0-1 to Johnson. That's hit over to left. It's out of play, 0-2. Hit to right, and uh, that'll hang up there. Easy play there for Alou, one away. Here's Lenny Dykstra. Dykstra today, one for two. Stolen a couple bases. He fouls this one away. The 0 and 1. Dykstra's also walked twice today. That's where he's getting a lot of that uh, war from, I believe, and uh, on base percentage. Fouled away the other side, 0 and 2. He's on base a lot, does a lot when he's on. Fouled away. It's still 0 and 2 on Lenny. Popped up. Will be the third baseman, Davenport, two away, and here comes Mookie Wilson. Wilson today is one for three. Hits that one up the middle, make that two for four. Wilson gets the easy base hit. That'll bring up Keith Hernandez with the runner on at first. There's a curve low, one and oh the count, and here goes Wilson for second. Uh, it was not a great throw there by the uh, catcher hauler, and Wilson has it uh, stolen. Mookie with his 11th steal of the season. And I tell you, with Dykstra and Wilson, um, you better you better lock down the uh, you better uh, lock up the hatch. They're going to steal everything on you. Hernandez 1-1 one, one count with the runner in scoring position. That's low and inside 2-1. and one. That's high. It's 3-1 and one on Keith. And there's a strike full count now in Hernandez. Ground ball over to first, that'll do it. Cepeda grabs that one, goes to the bag himself, and we go to the top of the ninth inning. Who do you think we want, McDowell or Orozco? It's going to be Orozco this time around. Jesse Orozco going to come in to uh, pitch this and hopefully pitch the Mets on their way to victory. He'll have to face at the top of the order. Here's uh, Felipe Alou. There's a ball inside, 1-0. and Orozco, 1.23 ERA, 7 and a third pitched. Swing and a miss is 1-1. Trying to see if uh, we have a record of his saves. He only has one. Fouled away. One and two. Hit over to left. Mookie on the run, on the run, and he reaches up and makes the catch in foul territory for the out. One away. Here comes Jim Davenport. Two for four today is Jim. Ground ball to third, and Knight throws to first. There's two away, and that'll bring up Willie Mays. And uh, that's hit deep to left field. Mookie's going back for that one, and he's got a play on it. That one stays in the ballpark, and there's your ball game. So the Mets uh, looked like they had no chance with Bereni on the mound. Uh, we're down 4 nothing, and then came back with 4 in the 6th, 1 in the 7th, and ended up winning this one 5-4. to four. This was an exciting game, and um, I'm probably going to have to go wipe the sweat off of my forehead now. And uh, final score again, 5-4. to four. Mets with not, uh, 5 runs, 9 hits, 1 error. Giants with four runs, eight hits, and no errors. Hope you enjoyed that one. I'll see you again tomorrow. We'll see how we do in the second game of this doubleheader. See you then. Bye.